If you're like me, you're just basically inside, sleeping, eating, kind of doing the same stuff, so it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna give you 10 ways to stay productive during this time and make something out of your day. Comment down below if you ever felt unmotivated in what you do to stay productive. The first thing you can do is to wake up early. Nobody wants to wake up early, but it's one of the best things you can do for yourself. Just like mentally, physically, it's just great because you're not spending your morning just laying around in bed when you could be doing like something that you've been putting off for months or probably since forever, really. I mean, one of the things that I have been putting off is doing animations. I have another channel and I really haven't been doing the animations, but something I could be doing is actually waking up and scheduling time to work on my skill and actually be able to upload on there. That could have been avoided if I just uploaded or if I just woke up early and just got things done. So another thing, another thing you could do is stay on top of your hygiene. Everybody knows that they're supposed to take a shower, at least every day, I mean. Probably, you're probably wearing the same pants you wore yesterday, okay? Stay on top of your hygiene, brush your teeth every morning, every night, take your shower, you will feel great and you won't regret it. Because that's probably very important. <laughs> So anyway, the next thing you need to do is to create a plan for the day. So everybody always tells you to create a plan like the night before. I don't always do that because it's kind of difficult. Like, I don't know how the day is gonna be on. I really don't check the weather like that. So I don't know like what the day is gonna be, what the mood is gonna be. So I, I would suggest at least having a plan. Like even if you do it like the morning of, just make a plan for the day. I mean, I'm definitely not doing that right now, but my day would be a lot more, like it would be going a lot more smooth if I just planned things out. And that's something that on my best days, I usually have a plan for the day and I end up feeling a lot better at the end of the day when I know that I actually did things that I planned to do, really. This is an obvious one, so make sure you drink water. That's another thing that I didn't do, but I'm telling people to do because that's what I should be saying. Obviously, water is really good for your body. It makes you feel good. It keeps you awake. It, it's just, it's just good. It's just good. This one is a really good one, okay? This one is to have an accountability partner. So you need to make sure that you have someone to report to someone you can message like throughout the day i'm being productive and i'm telling you because i want to be your accountability partner so the next thing is to eat 80 percent 75 percent healthy throughout the day i mean obviously it's hard to just always eat healthy like every single meal but it's really important to just get up and have a really healthy breakfast to start with so that you can start just feeling good and eating healthy throughout the day. And obviously you can just, you know, splurge a little bit like throughout the day, but you want to just mostly be eating healthy. No one is perfect, but you just gotta like do what's best for you and just eat as healthy as you can because you will definitely feel it on the inside. One thing that I don't do anymore, but I really want to get back into is to consistently listen to podcasts like every morning like one of my favorite podcasts right now is anything goes by emma chamberlain she's very raw very real and i really like um what she's doing with her podcast i love how mature it is and how she's pushed away from you know her little angsty teenager podcast that she used to have just talking about like weird facts like her stupid genius podcast and i just really like that podcast and um, there's a bunch of other ones, but that one is like one of the biggest ones for me. I actually love her podcast and she's actually, she, she is actually a really productive person and I commend her for all the things she does and just finding that inspiration with like people you're, you look up to, um, is really important and I really do recommend listening to podcasts like 
uh, at some point in the day because it's really motivating and it takes you into a world of someone else other than yourself. I'm excited for today. I just kind of want to sit down, catch you guys up on what's going on in my life, not really have a specific topic, just kind of wing it. I feel like I've been giving so much advice recently that I think I might be out of advice for now. Like, I literally think I ran out. Um, exercise. Make sure you exercise at least every three days. I don't know where I heard that from, but it's very good to just exercise at least every three days because it's going to keep your body pumping. It's going to keep it energetic. It's going to stop you from feeling like trash. Like, it's going to just make you feel good. It's going to make you feel confident, okay? If you don't work out right now, what are you doing? You need to be in the gym, taking a jog. You need to be doing something active with your body that's going to make you feel not like a potato, okay? Nobody wants to feel like a potato. No one wants to feel, you know, meh, okay? Exercising is just really good. I just realized I don't have my mic on my camera. I'm so sad. But it's okay. I'm going to Lastly is to set clear goals for yourself and accomplish them step by step. Every day, you can just have like one or two things towards a specific thing that you can just accomplish. Even if they're just like small tasks, like uh, say you wanna build a bookcase, okay? So you're gonna just at least get the bookcase. You're gonna buy the bookcase on Amazon, from Walmart or wherever you get it from, at least have the material ready to go when you wanna do it. Like that's the first step. and. It can just be as simple as just building something. Like anything that you have in your mind, you can do, you know. So just take it day by day and you will get to that goal. My favorite thing to use is Google Calendar. If it's like a like an event you want to do, like a time frame, you can do that. Or you can also like put tasks in, do in Google Calendar, I think. So also remind yourself to do stuff. I think that's very helpful. Or you can just like write it down if you're like a notebook kind of person, but I think it's the Google Calendar. Okay, you need to focus on what matters most and just start, just start changing things in your life. Just to like start making progress towards the person that you want to be so that you don't make excuses for getting behind and not living life you want to live. So and just start today, just do little stuff and it'll make magic for you, okay? Focus on your priorities and build as you go. If you want to check out any of my other videos, make sure you check out my morning routine. Um, if you want any inspiration, it's kind of like, you know, aesthetic. You know, if you want to click on the video, you can check that out. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye, guys.